Dunna from the Wanted and Adventure channel and I'm here today on Easy Languages hosting this series on Spanish language idioms. Spanish language? They're <laughs> English. Yes, yes, of course. English language. Looks like now I'm going to have to start from scratch. Okay, okay, that was corny, I know. I have a habit of being corny sometimes, but now that it's 2015, I will turn over a new leaf and act more maturely. It's a new year. I can start with a clean slate. I've really changed my tune, I promise. For more information on those idioms, check out the previous video in the series on idioms related to a new beginning. Today, we're talking about idioms involving animals. Idioms are not only tricky for people learning English as a foreign language, they're also hard for children learning it as their first language. I know that as a kid, I had at least one small panic from idiom confusion. The details of the story are a little fuzzy to me, so I've brought in some very special people to help me tell it. My parents. Okay, so guys, what was it that happened when I was younger? What's the story about the frog in my throat? Oh, I remember that. Do you remember that? That was like yesterday. <laughs> so we were sleeping in and Donna was about what? Just learning to talk. Three, so maybe three, three. Yeah. And so she came in and, and came into our bedroom and she pushed open the door and she, her voice was raspy and she said, Mommy. Mommy, what's wrong? What's wrong with my saying? And she would said saying because she didn't know the word voice, right? right? And her voice is all raspy. And we both laughed and I was trying to put her at ease and I just said, oh, it's okay, Donna. You just have a frog in your throat. And what did she do? She said, get it out! Get it out! <laughs> okay, so I was a little... I was a little freaked out by the frog in my throat. Yeah, because you didn't understand that that meant that it was you just, just a raspy laryngitis voice. Or right. laryngitis. Right. right, you thought you had a real frog, frog in, in your, your throat. throat. And that would not be good. No, Gross. that would not be good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> but I was freaked out for no reason, because as my parents explained, to have a frog in your throat just means to have a hoarse or scratchy voice due to a cough or other problem with your throat. It was very interesting to hear about Donna from her parents, but now I'm here with her in an exclusive interview to get the information straight from the horse's mouth. Thank you so much for being here with me today, Donna. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. Straight from the horse's mouth means directly from the source or firsthand. So gossip, for example, is not straight from the horse's mouth. You hear about someone from another person. So how long have you been living here in Germany? Five years. Five years? And before that, where did you live? I lived for one year in Prague and before that in Florida. Okay, okay, enough with the easy questions. You lived in the Czech Republic and now you live in Germany. Which country makes the better beer? <gasps> Oh, come on. Don't clam up on me. Which beer is better, Czech or German? No way. I am not answering that question. Answering that question would only cause trouble. <sighs> it's no big deal. To clam up means to become silent or refuse to talk, usually because you're feeling uncomfortable or nervous. If it's no big deal, then why don't you tell me what you think? Who makes better beer, the Germans or the Czechs? <sighs> What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Cat got your tongue is a question you can ask when someone isn't responding or saying anything. Generally, you've asked them something and then they haven't said anything back. The full idiom is, has the cat got your tongue? But you'll often hear it shortened to, cat got your tongue, without the has the at the beginning. Okay, let's 
let's just move on. So you're hosting an idiom series on easy languages? Yes, that's right. In the second episode on idioms involving food, you bit into a raw onion like an apple to help teach the it's a piece of cake idiom. Is that correct? Yes. Well, is there any chance you'd do it again? <laughs> when pigs fly. When pigs fly means that you're never going to do something. You'll do it when pigs fly, which is never. Right? <gasps> the pig is flying. You have to eat it. That does not count. This pig is blue. It's not a real pig, and I can see it's attached with some pink string. No, that's not a real flying pig. It doesn't count. It counts. <sighs> no. <laughs> No, please don't make me eat the onion. Oh, fine. Stop those crocodile tears. You don't have to eat it. Crocodile tears are fake or insincere tears. In addition to the idiom series that you do on Easy Languages, you also have your own YouTube channel called Wanted and Adventure. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. Okay, so if you'd like more information about Donna and her travels and her life in Germany, go check out her YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash wantedadventure. Thank you so much for talking with me here today, Donna. It was a pleasure. So my question for you is, which country do you think makes better beer, Germany or the Czech Republic? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Down in the description, you'll find a link to my channel as well as all the idioms that we talked about today and their meanings. Until next time, I'll be the same. So what idioms am I going to be talking about next time, Mom? Next time, you're going to be talking about idioms related to the cold. That's right. I'm living in Bavaria, so I decided to paint for you Bavaria's favorite dog. The Dachshund, which by the way is also known in America as the Wiener Dog.